Welcome back to the Z Code System channel. I'm Drew, and it's good to have you back here for another video and another bit of picks here on the Z Code System channel. And today we're going to take a look at match day eight in the English Premier League, which will kick off this weekend on Friday and continue on to Sunday before the weekend finishes. And there's some big matches going on this weekend, including Manchester United and Everton, as well as Liverpool and Manchester City. And we're going to talk about both of those games uh, coming up this weekend. Because those games are going to have a lot of the um, a lot of impact on the final standings this season and the title race, especially that Liverpool Manchester City game, which will be played in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. Guys, it's great to have you back here once more, and we hope that you're enjoying what we're bringing to you from Z Code System. As you can see, the blog right in front of you, we've got the latest picks for the NFL games coming up this weekend. Big game between the Dolphins and the Cardinals going on. And, of course, we've got other things uh, posted there at the blog. So just go on over there, have a look, have a browse around, and don't forget to sign up to the VIP club so you can get all the latest picks and use all of the great tools that we have at Z Code System to help you make educated sports bets. Now, of course, like I said, we're talking about the Premier League this weekend and the games that are going on, and I'm going to use the Soccer Buddy tool to give you um, some insight into the games that are going on and to give you my picks um, as we go through this. So I'm just going to click on over to the next tab to bring up the Soccer Buddy tool and we'll get on our way. Now, as you can see there, we've got the Soccer Buddy tool up and you can find this on the VIP club in the bonus tools section. Now, of course, you can always go to the VIP and just use the wall and scroll down and look at all the Premier League games as well as the games from all the other great leagues around the world. Um, but I'm using the Soccer Buddy tool today, and I'm going to give you, because you can see it right there on your screen, we may not talk about it, but you're going to be able to see um, some other picks that the Soccer Buddy app is going to give you, the Soccer Buddy tool is going to give you. Um, now, if you are new to this and this is your first time, of course, you can use the tutorial at the Soccer Buddy, um, on the Soccer Buddy tool once you click on that in the bonus tools section. And as you can see, we've got Saturday's date, uh, the 7th of November, and we've got our league, the English Premier League. And I've also um, I've also brought up the Hot Trends. So the Hot Trends gives us some more great information. And now I'm just going to scroll down, and we're going to take a look first at that Manchester United-Everton game. Now, Manchester United coming to this game, losers of their last two games. One of those was in the Premier League last weekend against Arsenal. They lost thanks to a Pierre Emerick bombing second half penalty, giving Arsenal all three points. Manchester United followed that up with a surprising loss in Istanbul, Turkey on Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday night against Istanbul Basak Shahir uh, in the Champions League 2-1. Um, I don't think a lot of people saw that coming. I know I didn't see that game coming or that scoreline coming, but United go in two straight losses. And if you're looking at the sports books today with the sack race, the next manager in the Premier League to be sacked and to lose his job, Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has shot up to the top of the bookie standings. I believe earlier today when I was having a look, it was five to six that he was going to be sacked next. Now, um, of course, Manchester United, they've shown that they can put together several poor results and then get one good result and completely change everybody's outlook on things and everybody praise Solskjaer and all the fans get back on board. Um, but right now it looks like things could be coming off. The wheels could be coming off. Um, and a lot of fans are calling for Solskjaer, Solskjaer to be dismissed and a new manager to come in. But the problem is with that Manchester United, um, who are they going to bring in and, and uh, to take over the team? Uh, there's the idea of Maurizio Pochettino, former Tottenham Hotspur manager to come in, but there seems to be a bit of a uh, lacking of quality managers to really come in and to overhaul this team, to turn the ship around and to get it to float again uh, and get it going in the right directions because things are to the point where there's a lot of managers who don't want to take over a club like this at the moment because it's going to kill their reputation or hurt their reputation if they cannot do it. 
Um, along with Pochettino, uh, Massimiliano Allegri has always been rumored or rumored over the last uh, 18 months to be a possibility of taking over the job. But anyway, Manchester United go into this game, losers of two straight games. They're taking on Everton, uh, who have not won any of their last three games, a draw to Liverpool and then a loss to uh, Newcastle United and Southampton. And this was a team that was at the top of the table and people were um, – praising how well they had played and and the job that Carlo Ancelotti had done and the new players that they had signed, such as James Rodriguez and the form of Dominic Calvert-Lewin. But all of a sudden, things have fallen apart there and they have not won in their last three games, losers of two straight. So both of these team are, teams are out of form as they go into this game. Now, as you can see there, we've got a score prediction of two to two. And um, as you can see there, we are five to six predicting total over 1.5 uh, goals in games with Everton in the last six games. Now, Everton have seen quite a few high-scoring games this season. They've been fantastic at home. They will be playing at home at Goodison Park. Manchester United, though, have also been good playing away from home. It's their games at Old Trafford that have not gone well for them in the league this season. So this should be a, um improved United team. They need a response after their last two losses. Um, Everton also needs a response going into this game. Uh, one big note here. Uh, two notes, actually, uh, on uh, player personnel for Everton. Richarlson, one of their best attacking players, he's out of this game um, due to a red card suspension he suffered a couple weeks ago. Um, he's still out. And since he has been out of action, Everton have lost back-to-back -back games. James Rodriguez, who started the season very well for Everton, he's having some fitness issues. And right now, I believe he's expected to play, but... Over the last couple of games, he's not had the influence that he's had previously. Now, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is playing fantastic for Everton, and he might get on the score sheet this weekend. He scored last week again against Newcastle United, so if you're wanting to bet on a goal score, I would put my money behind him to get a goal for Everton. Now, 2-2 two to two is this score prediction. It's a lovely score prediction, and I do think that this game will end in a draw. However, I don't think it will be 2-2. Two to two. I believe it's going to be a 1-1 one -one scoreline because that's what we saw last season when these two teams played in two games. Um, I like that scoreline to be repeated, and I like a draw to happen in this game when Manchester United take on Everton at Goodison Park. Now, Manchester United um, are near the bottom of the table, but they are not necessarily in too much danger because there are some really poor teams right now in the Premier League, including Sheffield United, Burnley, uh, West Brom, Fulham, not very good. So Manchester United shouldn't be in any trouble of being um, sucked down to the bottom three, but there is sh or there should be worry that this team is going to fail to um, get up into mid table. We're coming up on an international break after this weekend. So there's going to be um, a week and a half of football, two weeks of football, uh, no club football. We're going back to the internationals for a bit. Um, so uh, if Manchester United are going to make a managerial change, it could come after this game, depending on the result. If they lose, which I don't think they will, I think they're going to draw, but if they lose, I could see the club changing managers and giving a new coach a couple of extra days uh, to implement his tactics and to get in there and get to know things um, because we have this international break. Really, though, I'm not really confident that Manchester United will sack Solskjaer at the moment. I think they're going to stick with him uh, come hell or high water. Uh, so... I'm picking a draw in this game. Again, there's the total score or the yeah the total score prediction two two, but I'm thinking one one because those were what we saw last year between these two teams. Now let's get on to that big game that's coming up on Sunday at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester between Manchester City and Liverpool. But what I have to do first is scroll up, and we've just got to change our date. We're going to change here to the eighth, which is Sunday afternoon, and uh, we'll let that load up. And then we'll be able to take a look at this game. And this is a huge game because these are the two teams who have won the last two Premier League uh, Premier League titles. And as you can see there, we've got our, our predictions. Um, these two teams have won the last two Premier League titles, and they've really duped it out um, over the last couple of seasons. Liverpool were champions last year, uh, pipping Manchester City to the title and really dominating the season up until... February, and then obviously with the restart, they kind of fell off the pace, but the title was pretty much secured by then. Now, Liverpool are coming off of a massive midweek game win in Italy in the Champions League against Atalanta. They won 5-0. Fantastic result. And they also won last week in the Premier League 2-1 against West Ham, and the week before that against Sheffield United 2-1. 
So this is a team that is scoring goals. They are giving up goals in the Premier League. So let's not kid ourselves that this defense is not at its best. They've lost Virgil van Dijk for the season. He was their rock in defense. Now, I will argue that the defense has actually improved without the reliance on van Dijk. Uh, Joe Gomez has put in some better performances over the last couple of weeks, but there are defensive issues uh, that Liverpool have. Uh, Fabinho, who is a defensive midfielder and has slotted in for Virgil van Dijk since he went down with his injury, he's also he's out of this game with a thigh injury uh, and he's not going to play. The good news is Joel Matip, Champions League winning center back, he'll step in or he's could step in um, to partner against Joe Gomez because he's coming back from injury. Uh, Liverpool gave a Premier League debut last weekend to Nat Phillips. He was expected to leave the club um, during the transfer window due to the issues that Liverpool have right now with defense and injuries. He was not let go. They decided to keep him, and he played last week against West Ham and put in a fantastic performance, man of the match. Um, and one of the stats that has been very interesting that Liverpool – are ranking near the bottom of the Premier League table. I believe it's at the bottom, actually, of the Premier League table in aerial wins in defense. And a lot of that has to do with Matip not being in the team this season because of injury. Um, Liverpool are ranking low on winning headers. Now, Phillips was a dominant figure against West Ham last week, uh, playing those balls out of the air. Now, the thing about Manchester City is they don't really play a lot of crosses in. They're not a very good team in the air. Um, and the balls that are in the air should be won by Liverpool this weekend. So we've got that going for us here. Uh, Manchester City, they are also going into this weekend off of a Champions League win. Uh, they won 3-0 in midweek against Olympiacos. Um, scoreline flattered them a little bit. Ferran Torres scored in the first half to give them a one-goal uh, one lead. And then their last two goals, their second two goals, um, came late on in the game. So the game was kind of wrapped up, uh, but the scoreline kind of flattered them. And in my opinion, their group, not too difficult in uh, the Champions League. But Manchester City um, going into this game kind of up and down right now. Uh, they haven't played their best football and they've had a lot of injuries going into this. Sergio Aguero will miss the game. He's out with an injury, but Gabriel Jesus has returned to the team. So he could start in attack. Uh, but Ferran Torres has played pretty well for Manchester City since joining in the summer. And he could get the start for Guardiola, Pep Guardiola, that is, um, in attack. Um, interesting to see how Manchester City will line up. We know how Liverpool are going to line up across the front three, or at least we assume we know. Uh, Sadio Mane on the left, uh, Mohamed Salah on the right, and expecting to see Diago Jota down the middle. Now, he has scored a goal in each of his last four games in all competitions, and against Atalanta in midweek had a hat trick. I expect to see him playing once more. He's in great form, the form of his life, and that's going to send Roberto Firmino to the bench. He is underperformed this season. One of the questions for Liverpool will be who plays in midfield. Zudin Shakiri has been really good lately, but with the defense the way it has been, I kind of expect Liverpool to play with two midfielders to play in front of those, uh, to play in front of the, the back, and then maybe to have four attacking players uh, to put a lot of pressure on Manchester City and to take the pressure off the Liverpool defence. So that's just one of my expectations for this game. Now, Man City won this fixture last year at the Etihad. They won 4-0. Now, take that with a grain of salt, a big grain of salt, because Liverpool had already won the title when this game happened. Uh, matter of fact, they'd won the title earlier that week, I believe it was, uh, and they looked like they were still drunk from celebrating when they took that took the pitch that day. So I don't expect that to happen, uh, anything to be like that uh, previous game. Uh, but Manchester City did win this fixture the season prior to that, the year that they last won the title. Um, we, we tended to see Liverpool win at Anfield on their home pitch, and we've seen Manchester City win on their home pitch. I don't expect either team to win this game. I expect a draw. I like that 2-2 scoreline prediction for this game. These two teams are the best in the Premier League. They're definitely the best right now. And Liverpool really just need to prevent losing. Uh, Manchester City, they need a win because they need to pull closer. They're only, I believe it's five points at the minute, just off the top of my head. They're only five points back of Liverpool, and they would obviously pull a lot closer. And a loss would really dampen any chances of winning the title this season. This is 
a six point match in my opinion because Liverpool could really put uh, their biggest rival for the title behind the eight ball uh, with a win. Um, looking at the odds this morning on Bet365, that was my that's my favorite online sports book. Obviously, others um, exist, so you know check your favorite online sports book. But according to Bet365, Manchester City was is uh, eight to eleven right now to win the Premier League title. That's the best odds. Uh, and I believe, if I uh, remember correctly, Liverpool were two to one this morning when I when I had my last look at that. So um, the sports books are still backing Manchester City right now. So uh, be aware of that um, going into this week. And I think if Liverpool win this game, we're going to see the odds shift once more into their favor, uh, which there was a time a couple of weeks ago, Liverpool were the favorites. A uh, few results saw Manchester City uh, overtake them in the favorites odds. So back to this game, though. I like that 2-2 scoreline, and I think Diago Jota could get on the score sheet again for a fifth straight game for Liverpool. So if you want to back a player to score this weekend, I think you've got to back Diago Jota because he is playing brilliant football. City, <clears throat> they have a great, or not great, I shouldn't say great, they have a very good defense right now, a good defensive record. They've put a lot of money into this defense, but they will be challenged very uh, more, well, they will be challenged more than they have been in recent weeks. Go back to a few weeks ago, Manchester City lost 5-2 to Leicester City at home. That was a game in which they went out, uh, scored early, and then they gave up five goals to Leicester City. Three were from the penalty spot. So um, things have changed. The defense has gotten better in that time, but I, I, I don't think they've been challenged like they will be against Liverpool. Liverpool should go out and try to punch them right in the mouth from the start. So this is going to be a very good game. Um, I'm going to be watching. I suggest you do it too. It's going to be a thriller. And again, I like that scoreline, a 2-2 draw, which really favors Liverpool more than it does Manchester City. All right, guys. So those are my two picks for this week. I'm just giving you two, but of course, they're on the on the, uh, the screen. You can see a couple other games for free there on the um, Soccer Buddy tool, and you can use those to help you make great educated bets this weekend on all the Premier League games or on those Premier League games that you're wagering on. Guys, Please, if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up and give us a like. And if this is your first time scrolling through, come back and join us again and sign up or uh, subscribe to the channel and you can get updates on everything that we post here on the Premier League or on the other sports that we post on, including the uh, the NFL games that are going on right now. And a video last week we did on the NHL and their upcoming season and what it might uh, be like with some of the different things going on. So guys, thanks again for watching. Let us know what you think of this video. Comment down below. Let us know what you want to see here on the channel, and we'll get back to you soon with some more great content on the Z-Code system.